Hey everybody, I'm Olivia Flanagan and I'm a gender affirming voice teacher and today I'm going to take you through a gentle warm up. So all you're going to need is a straw, I've got a metal one here, and you're going to need a glass of water less than halfway full. If you're just starting your voice transition, you may never have warmed up your voice before. So why do we need to? As a singer, I can notice the little differences in my voice from day to day depending on a variety of factors, one of which is whether or not I've warmed up enough. So today's exercises will show you how to care for your voice and also help you build that vocal awareness. So using a straw is a type of semi-occluded vocal tract exercises or SOVTs. So semi-occluded refers to the fact that your mouth is mostly closed. And using a straw is just one of the many ways that we can do that. We can also use sounds like oo, oo, an M, mm, where your mouth is all the way closed, an N, mm, or a V. So if you don't have a straw lying around and you want to try some of these exercises, use one of these sounds. So SOVTs are beneficial to us because as we start to make a sound, we're going to have this pressure coming up from our lungs. And when it gets to our mostly closed mouth, we're going to then have pressure reflected back at the vocal folds. So what this is going to do is create kind of a cushion around them. It's going to help us make a sound a little bit easier. It's going to help our vocal folds vibrate more efficiently. And it's also going to just help relax the back of the throat. It's going to help the larynx release down a little bit. The larynx is what houses our vocal folds. So the less tension that we can have anywhere throughout our vocal tract is going to be a benefit to us. Okay, so you can use any straw that you've got lying around. Like I said, I've got a metal straw here, but you can use a, a paper plastic straw. You can also use a coffee stir straw if you have one of those little straws around. That'll work great too. So the first thing we're gonna do is just put our lips around the straw and make sure that we don't have any air coming through the sides of our lips so it's completely sealed. So let's try making a sound. Okay, so one thing we wanna make sure of is that we're not pushing too hard through the straw. So if you feel any tension through the, in, in your neck or throat, or if there's a lot of air coming through the, the back end of the straw, you might want to lighten up. So if it, if it feels something or sounds more like this, lighten up. Okay, cool. The, the last thing we want to make sure of is that our sound isn't kind of coming through our nose. So when we make a sound, we can pinch our nose and make sure that the sound doesn't change um, as we make the sound. So let's try it. Okay, so we're good to go. All right, so let's give this a try. So we're just going to first make a sound in your regular speaking range. Doesn't have to be super high or low. And let's just hold it. Okay, so you might find that you're able to hold this sound for a little bit longer than you thought. Because one, another great benefit of the straw is that it will actually sort of manage your breath for you, which is what we want. So I want you to notice this time, put a hand on your, your belly and notice if you feel some contraction of your belly as it comes in. So let's give that another try. Same thing. Okay, so I feel my belly coming in in a really even way and I'm able to keep my sound more or less pretty even sounding. So it's not Mm, 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 kind of loud and then soft, loud and soft. We want that even sound. So if you're changing your, your uh, pitch, either from high to low, no, no, depending on what you're, you're doing, either way we want a really consistent breath flow to maintain that pitch wherever we are. 
Um, so let's now try, let's just try a note in a really low part of our, our voices. All right, so what sensations do you feel in your body as you do that? For me, I feel a lot more um, vibration in my chest and in my throat. Um, so let's try now a really high note and see what you feel. What do you feel? So for me, I feel a lot less of the buzzing sensation than I do in the low register, which is great. So it's I'm moving from different registers in my voice, from this chest space up into my head space where I will feel less of that. So that's all really great. So let's now try some sliding. We're gonna slide first from our high register down to our low register and a little sound like this. All right, so I'm really taking my time, kind of letting myself sing all of those notes in between. So let's give it a try. Great. So you can notice the shift in those sensations um, from the high register where you probably feel less buzzing all the way down into your chest where you're gonna feel more. So now let's go the opposite direction. Let's do a couple going low to high. Give it a try. Once more. Okay. So oftentimes um, people find that going from high to low is a lot easier. Um, and so that's perfectly normal. If that's where you're, what you're feeling right now, no problem. So let's actually try to go from low to high, high back down to low, just one long um, sound. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Okay, so you might be feeling a little bit of a break, a shift in the sound, maybe kind of in the middle of your range. So that is called, we often call that kind of the break in the voice between the two registers. So using a straw is a great way to smooth out um, those notes that feel a little bit funny, that don't feel like super comfortable or smooth. Um, so there are, there are muscles in our larynx that are actually responsible for kind of like recalibrating and saying, okay, good, I'm, I'm good to go in this new space, in this new register. So using a straw will help those muscles get over that hump. Um, so that's another great benefit of the straw. So now we are gonna grab our glass of water and we're gonna do that same thing, our slides in a glass of water. And what I want you to do here is just notice if those sensations are different. So the things we're paying attention to are our abdominal, um, wall kind of coming in contracting and we're also paying attention to that that shift in sensation so let's try it low to high back down to low let's try that again Okay, so you can just kind of notice, does this feel any different? Do I like the way this feels or not? This is something, maybe you use this when you're at home warming up and maybe when you're on the go, take your straw in the car. Obviously you won't, well, maybe you have a, a Diet Coke in the car you can blow into or something. Um, but so you've got kind of options with the straw as well. 
So the last thing that we can do um, today is hum a little song through the straw. So whether you're not a, whether or not you're a, a singer, no problem. Um, you can just sing something you know. I'm gonna just try Happy Birthday here. So. Okay, so you can sing anything you know. You can pop on a, a recording of a song you really like and sing right along through the straw, and that's a great, you know, three minutes uh, right there of a great warm up. Um, so overall, so when we do these exercises, what do we want to notice? We want to pay attention to our breath management. Is that is that really nice steady stream of air? Do I feel a contraction in my abs? Um, I want to notice the sensation in 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 my body as I go. And the last thing we really want to pay attention to is um, how we feel, how your voice feels before you warm up and after your warm up. So um, start to notice, do I feel, I oftentimes feel my voice is lighter, a little buzzy, less buzzy and, and more in my head, a um, little uh, bouncier. So just kind of notice that, that difference. Um, before and after. All right, so how frequently and for how long should you be doing these exercises? I would say you should be doing these exercises every day. Um, and I would recommend something like three to five minutes of warm up in the morning. Um, and the great thing about the straw is that not only can it be used to warm up, um, but you can also use it as kind of a reset and a cool down. So as you start to practice more throughout the day, you might feel fatigued. Um, so you can grab the straw, buzz, buzz around for a few minutes and kind of reset your sound, give your, your voice a little break. Um, and then at the end of the day, after talking all day, you can use the straw three to five minutes, kind of cool down. Um, so I think that that's a really great place to start. So doing these straw exercises is a great and gentle way to strengthen your voice, manage your breath, to relax the muscles in your vocal tract, as well as smoothing out that transition between your chest and head registers. I really hope that this video has been helpful for you. And if it was, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And please let me know how it's going for you in the comments. Happy practicing and I'll see you in the next video.